I created a bunch of blank canvases of sound, so to speak, and then started, you know, filling it and then just started imposing my will onto them. Or sort of, you know, that in some ways and then also just allowing them to, you know, allowing the songs to dictate what they need. But, you know, it's a strange combination, you know, putting the music and the lyrics to the sounds because the... Sometimes they come at the same time, but most, mostly on this record it was making those sound canvases first and then putting the, you know, the ideas, the, you know, the lexicographical ideas on top of them. You know, the, the words and the, the texts and deciding what the songs are going to be and and it was really an incredible experience but for a long time I didn't want to do any you know writing of lyrics or singing because I I really wanted to let the songs develop and I was afraid to ruin or to I was you know afraid to ruin any of them with my voice and because I'm really skittish about singing strangely and um and I'm not really a big fan of my own voice, although I, you know, I'm, I do enjoy sort of playing around with it and using it in different ways. Um, I mean, I do love to croon and, you know, I love, you know, easy listening music from the, you know, from the 50s and 60s. Um, but I, I get bored with my own voice, so that was something that came quite late in the game. And I sort of had to be forced into just, it's like, well, you're going to have to put your album out soon, so you better start writing the lyrics and singing on it. Um, and so I just started doing it. <laughs>